What's going on YouTube? Grim you here and I am excited. I finally got my Starlink. I've been waiting for this thing since last February, which is almost a year, and I finally got it. And it was kind of a happy mistake by getting it, but we're going to run a speed test. Dishy McSquare Pants is my Starlink uh, modem, so home is Viasat, so you can see it's already recognized space exploration technology. So let's start this up, and you can see right away we got a ping of 35, so that was fast. Bam, look at those numbers. Holy cow, you won't see this on any other satellite company. Starlink is spanking their asses. Look at that. We ended at a 171. I can't believe the speeds we're getting from a satellite. And when we go to the next thing here, which is Viasat, we're going to make sure we're on Cloudflare at Dallas, Texas, just like here. So as you can see, boom, you, you can do whatever you want basically with this um, kind of speeds. And sometimes it's even more than that. I think I've seen a 300 at, as a max at one time. So we're staying between 100. Uh, I've seen some 75s here and there, but 70, let's say 75 and 300 is what I'm getting here uh, where I'm at now. And we're still in beta. Um, technically, my cell isn't, well, technically it's not open according to Vias, uh, Starlink. I just happened to get my Starlink equipment by accident and it was kind of a happy accident. So here we are on home now on our modem and router here. Home is Viasat and you can see it on here. It's recognized it as Viasat. We're, we're on Cloudflare because I wanted to be uh, fair on the <laughs> speaking of fair I want to be fair on its ping and the distance and everything so Viasat and Starlink are hitting the same server so you can see the ping took forever seven six hundred and nine that's 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 ridiculous guys that's just stupid ridiculous now the speeds usually a three we're gonna see what okay we're climbing oh okay okay we're having a good day okay seven okay yeah that's a good day i rarely see that it's usually between a one and a three so a seven is good uh, you know that's better than normal 99 percent of the time it's usually under a three sometimes lower than a one but uh yeah as you can see starlink is Banking these other satellite companies asses this is this is awesome look at that that's just garbage you can't even I have to watch YouTube at 144 P and it still buffers at those speeds that's how ridiculous Viasat and HughesNet is all right now this is the app um, you can download to your mobile device and this is how you set up your Starlink and it gives you information about your Starlink uh, throughout the time that you've ha you have it. Um, this little red square at the bottom is obstructions. It says I got some obstructions and I might ex expect interruptions every 13 minutes, but I don't see them. And you can see they're very small obstructions, little red spots here are the obstructions, and that's my trees. So this thing, this picture that it sees, you set that up by checking for obstructions on the tab at the bottom. And what it does is you're, you hit it and you point your phone up in the air. Here it is right here. Point it up in the air. And you start gathering these little dots. You just kind of walk around in a 360 or turn around in a 360 and you gather these dots. And that gives you your picture that it uses there. All right, we're going to talk about the uh, status. This is your status page. And... Uptime, that tells you when you've gotten any interruptions. So if you see a red spike in there, you you were you had an outage. But they're so short that you don't really notice it when you're, you know, streaming a movie or whatever. Because they're only like two seconds, four seconds, little little 
outages and your buffer usually fills in those spots anyways on your streaming so you don't really see that so I, I don't know I don't notice it when it happens is what I'm saying and then we got our latency and you see it stays pretty low um, there's a max of 331 I've seen that while ago I think that's when I walked away from the router trying to do the little gather the little circle green circles for you um, and then usage it'll show you how much you're using like when you're watching streaming a video or using the computer or downloading something it'll tell you how much you how much you're using I've seen that spike as high as 400 so uh, you get these little spikes this is your outages and you can see there's seven four two seconds uh, 14 15 seconds they're so short that you don't notice it when you're just streaming a video or surfing you don't see it um, I think the stream and your buffering takes care of it so you don't really see that happen you don't notice it so it's a really great tool I like this uh, that they give you this it's uh, bias that don't have anything close to this thing and uh, I like this this really gives you a lot of information and then we're going to go to speed test and speed test their speed test is a little slower uh, shows slower results that's iPhone the internet so pretty good there uh, router the internet that's that's pretty good there too we're staying up in there uh, I noticed it's always lower on here than it is the Oki speed test the Oka data or whatever it's called and then this is just iPhone the router which it should be pretty high because it's just right next to so let's talk about ordering at starlink.com here so you can order your Starlink today for $99 it's a reservation price basically is all it is you reserve your line or your place in line for $99 the whole thing is $499 plus that $99 so you're just a little over $500 with taxes and all that crap right here where it says first come first serve basis that's not necessarily true if your cell is already open and ready to go and it's not full you will get your Starlink within two weeks of ordering it and when you put in your address down here it will tell you whether um, you're open or not so you get the square uh, head it's a square dish now not a round one anymore and then you get your little router and a real stylish looking router uh, I like its design so you just punch in your address and we're going to use a random address you just punch it in and it looks like somewhere near Dallas order and boom now looks like Dallas isn't going to be getting any service until late 22 early 23 so too bad for Dallas they're going to be waiting around a while I don't know why they would want it to begin with I'm sure that place is full of fiber everywhere but it was just a random address I gave you guys to show you that so punching in your address and finding out how long you gotta wait if you can't get your address there's this plus code right here if you don't have an address and you just got a location that you want to put this at like my address does not come up on GPS or anything so I had to use the plus code and this is telling you about the plus code and what they look like and then how you get your plus code so that's an example of Seattle you just click on the Google Maps pull up an area here zoom in and if you see your house or something you can click on it we're just going to pick a random spot here and there's your plus code that is a plus code you copy it and then you paste it right here in the address line and it'll give you an example of or what it's supposed to actually look like you click on it and boom same thing well this one here is early to mid 2022 so there you go guys real simple easy to order so yeah this thing is real stylish I love the look of it the square face 
got away from the round, ugly thing. Um, and this thing's easy to put together. You've got your square dish, you've got a modem, and you got the stand. The dish just pops right into the stand. There's one cable that plugs into the bottom of the dish. It looks like a, a USB-C and on both ends, one in the dish, one into your router. You plug your router right into the wall. That's it. It's done. It's up. And you set it out in the yard where you got a nice open um, view. Easy. And you've got other mounts like this side mount right here. I think this thing's cool. That is very stylish right there. A modern design. It fits anywhere, you know, just awesome, awesome ideas that Starlink came out with. This thing is kicking other satellite companies' asses. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you're struggling on what to get in your area, and if you can't get fiber in your area, if you can get fiber, get it. Just don't worry about it. Just get it. If you can't and you're looking at satellite options, you can't get cell phone signal like I can't. Where I live, I can't get cell phone either. Then look into Starlink. See how long it's going to be till you get it. If it's going to be six months or whatever, just hold out. Do not go and get Viasat or Hughes. You're going to get stuck in a two-year contract. And you're going to be pissed off because it's slow as hell. Just hold out. Hold out for the Starlink. Get, get in line now. Get your order set up. Um, contact me if you're seriously looking into it. And leave a, a, a comment. And let me know how long it's going to be till you get yours. And... I've got some little tricks for you. So take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. You all have a great day, and thanks for watching.